hey guys, this is just going to be a quick video. I know sometimes I say it's going to be a quick video and then it's not so quick, but I think this is going to be a real quick video because I just want to share a new promo item I just got. Really rare, never heard of it. Uh, should be kind of fun. Right there, Larry Lair. This is an interview cassette promo released by Columbia when he signed with them. Real quick, if you don't know who Larry Lair is, um, he was sort of the younger, almost junior member of Three Times Dope. He premiered on their second album, The Only Guest Rapper, and he's on two songs. Then he signed to Rough House Columbia. You know, he put out the single uh, Larry Lair, That's What They Call Me, which is sort of a remake of Grandmaster Flash's uh, Larry's Dance Theme, because one of his dancers was also named Larry Lair. It was a different guy. Um, then he put out the album The Wizard of Oz. Uh, he had the single Confused, which was then had sort of a big remix by Prince Marky D, The Soul Convention. Uh, and then put out a couple of independent singles afterwards, after his kind of roughhouse phase. So just a young Philly cat, dope MC. Uh, he had a DJ, Mad Ice, who did a lot of his production, but Three Times Dope, of course, did a lot of his production as well. Uh, they featured on his album, Kwame featured on his album. And so right when he signed to Roughhouse, before the album came out, they put out this promo cassette, which I just got. And you can see, it looks a little, like, homemade, the cover. But that's just sort of the art, because you see, this is one photo of Larry Lair, and then that's the same photo, kind of all flared out and stuff. Uh, and it's a legit, you know, real release. You can see it's manufactured and everything, put out by Rough House, Sony Columbia. It's even shrink wrap. So I'm going to open this with you <laughs> or uh, for the first time right here. I guess you could kind of call it an unboxing. We're unboxing. It's an unboxing video. <laughs> unboxing Larry Lair. That's what I'm going to call this video. So let's pop this open. Uh, apparently this cassette, it says features, and I presume this is just within the, uh, within the interview. I don't know if there's really going to be any music on here, perhaps maybe some album snippets, but, um, stupid handcraft. Doesn't want to cooperate. Uh, three Times Dope and D from Pump It Up. D, of course, was one of the MCs from Body and Soul, and when that group was kind of really short-lived, but they were on delicious vinyl. And then Fox started a video show, sort of like Rap City and Yom TV Raps, called Pump It Up, which they used to air at 1 a.m. 1 a.m. on, like, Saturday nights, which is pretty ridiculous. But she got a lot of good guests. It was a good show. Sometimes they aired some videos that the other shows didn't really show. Uh, and, of course, she got famously assaulted by Dr. Dre. But anyway, that really shouldn't be the highlight of her career, unfortunately. She was on We're All in the Same Gang. So here we go. Larry Larry's going to be talking to, I presume... D from Pump It Up with maybe some or all members of Three Times Dope along with him. Here's the cassette. Nothing really on the inside here. Larry Lair interview. No idea what to expect <laughs> beyond the Larry Lair interview with D from Pump It Up. It looks pretty long looking at the actual tape in there. It's double sided, but I don't know if there's actually going to be anything on the second side or if it'll just be the same program repeated. That's pretty likely. Let's find out. Let's fire it up. Sitting with Chuck Knights and EST of Three Times Dope and Rough House Columbia artist Larry Larry. Larry, Larry what's up? Hey, what's up, Dick? What's what? I don't know. You tell me. You got some new stuff coming out out here. Yeah, it's going to be live. You know, um, my man Chuck Lights from Three Times Dope producer. I got my man EST on it, Kwame. You know, so many B-I-C-E, Mad Ice, you know, DJ Tad, the rest of the nine, the Legion of Doom, the Stephanie, and the Fat. You know what I'm you saying? You got the whole crew in there. Now, how did you guys uh, first hook up? You mean, well, um, Three Times Dope? Mm -hmm. Let me hear your story first. Well, me Since and you are the song. <laughs> <laughs> well, me and EST been together for a while, you know, um, we grew up together around the same way, you know, we started rapping, you know, going to little house parties, ripping things up, you know, and after a while, we went our separate ways, you know, I got with my man, Mad Ice, and, you know, um, EST got with Three Times Dope, you know, they made it out there, they came back with me and Mad Ice, and here we are. All right. Now, Chuck Nice, you produced the majority of the album, right? Correct. How was it working with Larry? It was, uh, interesting. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll see you up there. 
I just got um, the meat shut um, two years ago, and they since then, you know, we've been cool. Okay. Now, you appear on the Three Times Dope album, right? Yeah, they gave me Chaz to rip things up, you know. What cut was that? Um, making money in 10 seconds. <laughs> Now, how was it growing up in Philly? Mary it was cool, it was cool, you know, the same PDA girls, you know. Oh, <laughs> oh why you just all the women now? You know, oh, there's no. gonna be a lot, a lot of women buying your album, no, and I'm I'll, sitting here with you. Come I, I, on, brother. No, now. you know you my make, Come on, you make it up. All right, let me make it up quick. <laughs> quick. When I, I, mean, I mean, the girls around my way, uh, you know, geez. on my block. That's why I say, um, you know, around those, are, those around the way girls. <laughs> on my block, the girls are so crazy on my block. Yo, come on, seriously, Dad. Right, cool. What kind of kid were you growing up? Um, you know, I was into my schoolwork. I was always into my schoolwork. You know, when I got home, you know, I put the books down, you know, did my homework. Got finished doing that, you know, grab my little hobby, and I was off for my work, you know. Now, Chuck Nice, what's the hip hop scene like out here in Philly? But, um, it used to be a little bit more dominant back in the day because they had, like, um, you know, radio stations that were playing rap. Now they're trying to get into the no rap, you know, uh, more music, less rap. No rap, rap yeah. jerk day. How, you feel, how do y'all feel about that, being honest? It's cold suck as shit to me. <laughs> S-E-S-T? Okay. Because I feel as though we're rappers, right? Yeah. Would they rather us rap or go out and break into their cars and beat them down after they come out their job? We young youths trying to express something, trying to get money so we can take care of our future kids, our moms, and what we want to do. Point Blizzy. <laughs> Word, we all agree on that for sure. Oh. Now, um, how would you, how do you think that Philly style hip hop differs from, like, say, LA or New York, or is there any difference? Yeah, but yeah. I think it's, like, it's a wizard style right here. Me and Larry Lau, we got our own style. There was never no Philly style, you know what I'm saying? We wizards, W I Z Z A R D. You know what I'm saying? Wizard O P A. Yeah, speaking of Wizards, that's the name of the album, right? Yeah, the Wizard of Odds, you know, O-D-D-S, you know, something different. You know, I'm a high person, you know, I'm a high person. So let's talk about some of the stuff in the album. Like line two? Line, line for line, rhyme for rhyme. Yeah. Yeah, that's like hardcore. That's just like, you know, let my DJ go make P-I-C-E, Mad Ice, rip things up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like, it's the spotlight is on Mad Ice right there, you know, to show him how he is on the cusp. You know, and I'm just backing it with the rounds. You know, I ain't gonna let him down. You How'd know. you hook up with him? Mad Ice, that's my cousin, you know. Uh, we together all I like, you know. Family thing. Went to school and the whole nine. How about uh, The Wizard of Oz? The Wizard of Oz is about Dorothy, you know, trying to get back to Wizardville, PA. You know, and mm -hmm. um, the Tin Man and, um, you know, Lion Man and all that. They MCs want to know how to rap, you know, so they often see The Wizard, and The Wizard is me, oh, really? you know. What about Keep On Y'all? Keep on, y'all. You know, it's this line where I say, um, that, um, I'm pouring rhymes out my coat like you call a rope and I can hit the pickle car. <clears throat> Still sound dope. Yeah. All right, now what about my ace, my pal, my pal? Oh, that's my man. That one. Nah, that's my man, E.S.T. and Kwame. You know, uh -uh. we just, all right, this, this record right here is where we let loose, where we don't care. Well, anything we're scared to say, we say it on this record. You know, uh -huh. my ace found partner, we let it all out. You know, for y'all people out there, you gonna see our um, side of EST y'all never seen before, and the side mm -hmm. of my man Kwame May that nobody seen before. You know, I heard it. Yeah. 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 Anyway, yo, um, now did you? Get, I heard you rapped with LL Cool J. Oh yeah, um, I was at a show. I'm looking at him on stage ripping things up, right? So he stopped and said, "Yeah, um, all right." I need a rapper to come up here and rip things, you know, you know, with me. Uh -huh. And, you know, everybody's just like, everybody looking around like, damn, who's going to go up there? You know, Charlie Mack, you know, I got to give um, all respect to dude to my man, Charlie Mack. Mm -hmm. He pulled me on stage. Charlie Mack is Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince Bodyguard. He pulled me on stage, you know, LL gave me the mic. From there, you know, I ripped things up. And ever since then, you know, a lot of things have happened for me. Let's talk about being a teenager in the rap industry. How old are you? 17. 17. 18. Uh, not even legal yet. I'm legal. I'm legit. <laughs> you legit? Yeah, I'm cool. Okay. Anyway, 
Where, where do you think you fit in in, in in that? You know, being a, being that you are younger, your whole perspective on uh, music and everything in general. See, I, I mean, at this age, you know, most teenagers, all they want is the girls. You know, I'm cool with the girls. I like the money. I love the money. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm into what I do. You know, I'm into my work. You know, I make sure business gets done. You know, it's, it's not like, I thought it was more fun. I thought it was going to be fun. But, you know, it's more business than anything. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going with the flow. You know, taking things slow. Soon to be large like an afro. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so EST, you got any advice that you out there already in the public eye? You got any advice for your little brother left? Uh, oh, oh, wait, it, wait. This is pill number two. Oh, yeah, okay, wait. Yeah. Right. Oh, got pill number two happening. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, why you gonna try? I'm saying, why you gonna try to smell my name though? So why you gotta try to smell my name? I'm humble for real. I'm the real, for real old fashioned. But for the fact that I can't find an old fashioned girl like my man Larry Lad. I just got to be out there. I'm not out there. My man, these duties. I'm not doing that. My man, yes. No. All right. Can we get to something else? Can we get to something else? All right. No, no, but for real, my advice, Larry, is to just go out there, put your heart into your work, make sure you stay sure it's proper for your health. Stay close for mad, count your money, and don't spend it up, man. Of course, chill and get busy so you can let your boy be asshole with somebody. All right, the last thing I want to get into is. Uh, how would you describe your style? In one word, how would you describe Larry Lair's style? Wizard Fire. You know, mm-hmm. Wizard Fire. There it is, like that. You have it. Wizard Fire wow. style from the Wizard. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The kick it. From Reality 5Gs. Wow. Peace. All right, that sounds like a definitive ending, but let's check side two anyway. Sitting with Chuck Nice and EST of Three Times Dope and Rough Out. Yep, same thing on both sides. So there it is, Lost Larry Lair interview. Um, that was pretty long, and a lot of it was just song clips from the album, uh, so I'm probably just going to cut those out and kind of give you the guys the interview. Uh, but a pretty dope little promo find I found. That's it. Till next time, thanks for watching.